What's going on Tackle Warehouse fans? Jake here bringing you this week's episode of What's New in Tackle Warehouse. Just got a few things for today. It's slowed down a little bit, so don't have as much new stuff as we usually do. So the first thing we got, top water season just around the corner, or it's in full swing depending on where you're living at. So we got the new P-Line top water line. So this is a co-polymer line that P-Line worked with Brian Thrift on for years to develop just to get it just right. So first and foremost, superior castability. So this stuff flies off your spool and you get really long cast, which is the most important thing when you're throwing top water, getting that bait way out there, away from the boat. Um, second is that it's got low memory, so it doesn't really get coiled up as bad and it's not gonna affect the action of your lure. So if you're throwing walking baits, poppers, stuff like that, um, you know, it's gonna maintain, you know, maintain supple straight line on the water and not mess up your action. And it's also got great abrasion resistance and great knot strength. So when you're on those schooling fish, and you're just catching them, you know, fish after fish, you can keep throwing in there. Don't have to worry about your line getting torn up as bad. You can keep, the you know, keep catching fish while the school's fired up. So if you're looking for top water line, check out the new top water line from P-Line. So we got a bunch of soft plastics. First one coming straight out of Japan from Amakatsu. So we got the new Amakatsu Gentabao Creature Bait. So it's kind of a, a Gobi style profile bait. It's more of a, like a soft stick bait. What's cool about this is it's made out of a really dense pl uh, plastic. It's loaded with salt, so it's really heavy because this bait really excels getting, uh, getting fished on a, on a weightless EWG style hook. That's where you get the best action out of it. So you can throw it really far. And then with the, uh, the way it's designed with this flat bottom and this heavy ribbing on the bottom and this channeled tail, what that does is it allows this bait to just glide through the water. So it gets more of that gliding and you know, kind of darting action. And that tail gets a little bit of wiggle on it. And when it lands on the bottom, it actually sits upward in kind of a head up position, just like a live goby. Um, the underwater footage on this thing is amazing. You know, it you know, looks just like a live goby swimming around. So if you fish, you know, super clean water and you fish somewhere that's infested with gobies, you might want to check this one out from Mamakatsu. All right, if you're looking for your new bladed jig trailer, a swim jig trailer, we got one from Bruiser Baits. This is the new Slimmer Swimmer. So this is kind of in between their Super Swimmer and Super Swimmer Junior. So they wanted to have something that was the perfect size for a bladed jig and your bladed, you know, bladed jig trailer and swim jigs. You know, it's, you know, it's the, the right size to just have the right profile for all types of jigs. It's got a really thinned out tail section and that large boot tail on there. So it gets great kicking action. But if you don't want to fish it on a jig, it's got the split belly on there. So you can rig it on like a you know, like a screw lock style hook or uh, like a Texas rig, completely weedless, something like that. But just overall, they got a bunch of sweet colors and uh, just a you know, great soft plastic swim bait to have in the arsenal. All right, another soft plastic from Japan. This one's from Duo Realis. This is their new Riggle Crawler. So it comes in three sizes, 3.8, 4.8, and 5.8 like I got here. Bunch of awesome colors loaded with, like, uh, with that shrimp scent infused into the plastic so it smells you know, there's a really strong scent to it and fish are going to bite on it to it and hang on to it. So, you know, it looks just like a straight, t you know, like a straight body worm. But when you actually look at it up close, it has kind of ovalized, ovalized section in it, um, kind of vertical and horizontal, you know, alternating from each other. So you get kind of this, you know, this little bit offset shape to it. And what that's going to do is when this worm is sinking through the water column, it's gonna catch more water than just your standard straight body worms. And you're gonna get a lot more, you know, wiggling action, shimmy action out of it than you would your standard, um, your standard straight body worms. There's also a little air pocket in the tail right there. So fishing on a shaky head or anything like that, and you're gonna get that tail to stand up and quiver and get a lot of action. Just super cool worm from Duo Realis. All right, we got a crankbait here. So, if you're looking for a finesse style crankbait, we got one here from Black Label Baits. So this is the Black Label Cliff Pace Peanut Crankbait. So like its name says, you know, peanuts, super small in size. This is an awesome finesse style shallow water crankbait. So handmade by Cliff Pace, just like all the Black Label Baits, if you haven't checked them out, they're all, you know, premium components, handmade, uh, custom paint jobs, great hooks, you know, circuit board lips, you know, the whole nine. They're made out, this is made out of balsa wood. It's got almost flat sides, kind of semi-flat sides, so you're gonna get a really tight shimmying action out of it, but it's still gonna have a pretty aggressive vibration and body roll to it as well. Um, with the circuit board lip on there, um, deflects really good off cover, and because it's balsa, you know, you're gonna get that extra buoyancy out of it instead versus like a plastic crankbait. So if you're going over rocks and brush and lay downs and stumps and stuff like that, like it's gonna deflect really well and you're not gonna get snagged up as much as you would be throwing, um, you know, a standard plastic crankbait. 
Um, this one, you know, gonna be great for when you're fishing around really small forage if the shad are really, really small, or you're just fishing behind a lot of anglers, depending on where you're at. The lakes could be flooded with people or you could not be fishing at all right now. If you're faced with, you know, everyone's out at the lake right now and you want something a little bit more subtle, this is gonna be the one you wanna check out. Also comes right out of the box, must add TG76 EWG style hook, so you're gonna get great hookup ratios on it. And like I said, you don't have to do anything with these black label baits right out of the box, come ready to fish when you pull them out. All right, if you're trying to store some plastic, store some tackle, um, we got a new bag from Sixth Sense, so we got their new medium sized bait bag. So a little bit bigger, a little bit different configuration, um, you know, super durable construction on this stuff. Um, they hold together really well, they're really nice. And what I like about it is this new dual, you know, handle zipper on here. So it opens up and then you, you have this big flap, so it gives you access to all your, you know, bags of soft plastics you know, probably 20, 30 bags of soft plastics, whatever you can throw in, throw in there. You know, we grabbed a bunch off the shelf just to pack it in there, show you how much you can fit in there. You know, zip it up. You got a Velcro flap right here and it's got handles on both sides, so easy to carry, but you know, plenty of room to carry a bunch of different stuff. If you just want to go walk down the shore and have a bag full of stuff, this is going to be the one you want to check out. All right, got two new rods here. So these were actually released at the Bassmasters Classic. These are both from Daiwa and they're both coming in at $79.99. So a couple awesome rods to add to the lineup. So we got the new Fuego series and the Fuego series comes in a casting and a spinning. I believe there's 10 or 11 models throughout both lines. Um, the Fuego, awesome rod for the value, 79 bucks, hardly can't beat it. It's got their HVF blank technology on, um, blank technology, so super light. Um, incredibly sensitive and really strong. Um, it's also got braid ready guides on there, so don't have to worry about running braid or if you run braid, do a leader. And it's got super comfortable reel seat and the EVA foam handle, so overall incredibly lightweight, just awesome rod for 79 bucks. All right, next up from Daiwa, just again for 79 bucks, we got the new Procyon series. So, you know, from top to bottom, got high performance graphite blanks, got the braid ready guides on there. Uh, Daiwa Real Seat, and then it's also got the cork candle instead of the EVA foam. I prefer the cork candle, super comfortable. And compared to the Fuego series, which has a bunch of technique specific actions and tapers in their lineup, the Procyon's got a more generalized lineup of actions and tapers. So if you're looking for like just a regular, you know, seven foot medium heavy or something like that, you know, the Procyon might be the one you, you want to go with. All right. And last but not least, if you're wondering what this cool shirt is that I got on, so we got the new Hook Americana shirt for the spring 20 season. So it's got a small Hook logo on the front, and then it's got the awesome American flag logo on the back. So if you're looking for some new shirts, make sure to check out the new shirts from Hook. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of What's New with Tackle Warehouse. For more information on purchase products seen here today, make sure to click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most pumped about.